is I want to try and convince you of three things. First of all, that waving goodbye to the recession is premature. Uh, this recession is going to last considerably longer than uh, perhaps most of us realize. I think we're in a situation where we've seen a bounce back in the world economy and there's a belief that the recession is over. But if you look at what's been happening in the last couple of years, we've seen this massive flood of money into the world economy from the US government, from many European governments, even from the Chinese government. And that's really re reflated the world economy. And I think all we've done is, is delay the day uh, when we actually have to start paying back the debts that we've, uh, we've taken out in the last 30 years. There's a perception that China can save the world, that 1.4 billion people, so even if it grows at 10% a year, it's going to be a very long time before it catches up to anything like the volumes that we exist in Europe and the US. It was an interesting first, uh, first session, although, although in, a, in, a, in a tone which is more negative than, than probably, than probably is, is the, the consensus, and that is good because it, it creates um, the, the need for, for a discussion. Secondly, the economic change that took place in 2007 was not a bump in the road. It wasn't a small economic change. It was much more fundamental and explosive than that. We're going to see uh, inflation uh, a major issue in, in the items that we really need in the world. Commodities, oil, food, water. And that because of that, we will see a squeeze in spending because a lot of pensions are going to be cut. Government spending will be cut. So incomes will begin to go down while prices of commodities and food and water and oil go up. So what do people do? Well, in the West, they have to sell the assets they've got. And so we'll see deflation in asset prices in terms of property prices and real estate prices, commercial real estate, will continue to go down as economic activity finds its new normal. It's a tough challenges ahead of us, uh, and I think uh, we have some demanding um, issues to um, uh, look forward to and, and uh, work with uh, in the investment industry. Thirdly, that the path that you've been on for the years is now fundamentally changing. The strategies that you need for the way ahead have to be different in almost every case from the strategies that you've been using in the past. You need to be a lot smarter if you're going to succeed in the future. We've got, in the last 30 years, used to the idea in the West that there's only one way to compete in business, and that's the laissez-faire, free market approach to the world that most of us have grown up with. But that's not the only way to compete. And I think we're about to learn an ideological battle from the Chinese in particular, that there's a different way to compete. Now, I think what we're going to see in the next 18 months is a lot of rhetoric on the part of, of politicians in Europe, and particularly the US, saying that Chinese companies compete unfairly. And I want to say, no, they don't. Chinese companies compete differently. They have developed a different model, and who knows, perhaps a better one. It's certainly going to be much more cost effective than the Western model. There's a lot of talk about the BRICS countries and about the opportunity that presents themselves there. But I wonder if they've been sold something of a, of a dream that can't come true. If you look at the, the amount of resources we're using compared to the number of people on the planet, and of course, as the number of people rises, the resources are beginning to decline. And so we have this, this terrible problem coming forward with expectation and reality that the Chinese and the Indians and many others in the developing world are expecting uh, a higher standard of living and to equal that in the West, uh, whereas uh, the reality is that that's not going to be possible. The recession's not over. What happened in 2007 was not a bump on the road. We're in a fundamentally different place. And to succeed in the future is going to be much more complicated. It's a maze to get to the money. And you're going to have to swim against the tide or do something different from the rest of your competitors if you're going to be successful. And that's really what I want you to think about for the next two days. Thank you very much.